would like to see the right. coffers. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. By Shimamashiach, Carmel, like Yahweh Shai. We are messengers for Israel. Coming at you on a Monday night, man, trying to wake up the lost sheep who are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. We are living in the last days, and That's it is right. time for us to return to our heritage and our nationality, man, right? Because we have been blinded, we have been lied to by all these false religions, man, dealing with these churches, man, in Christianity, in Catholicism, man. Anything that's man-made, right, that has you inside of a building has got our people lost. And we are tired of our own people who are in these positions that are continuing to scatter the sheep. That's right. So you don't need to go to a church building, right, right. to hear the truth, because right. they're not going to give you the truth. At so we're going to give our people the truth, man, based on thus said the Lord, off the scriptures, man. Let me That's get right. First Peter, chapter 4, Saudi verse 17, and read through 19, Bobby Shah. First Peter, chapter 4, verse 17. Right. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. At the what? At, at the, the house, house of God. God. And if the first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? See, our people want to waste time and walk by the prophets and the men of the Lord, man, in these last days, just like they did back then, man. Right? right? Thinking they have all the time in the world, man. Right. When the Most High God says that what's going to be the end of those if those who keep the commandments are scarcely and barely going to make it, man, up out of wicked Babylon the Great, man. Right? Or all four corners of the earth, man, where there's all sorts of wickedness going on. Right? What's going to be the end of those? We'll tell you, man. Right? Fire and brimstone. Thus said the Lord, That's man. Right. That's right. This is why it's so important for us as Israelites, man, right, to understand what the truth is. Understand that the truth comes out of these scriptures, and it is the law, statutes, and the commandments, man, that's what's, what's going to lead you to salvation, man. Stop listening to all these false preachers and false teachers, man, in these Christian churches, man, dealing with our own people, the Creflo Dollars, the TD Snakes, man. You guys will sit there and turn on the TV screen, man, and sit there and watch it for 45 minutes and may get one scripture, man, right? right? And he won't even break the scripture down, man, to let you know that who that scripture is being spoken to. Right. Because we know that this law is only given to us, which are the Israelites only, man. That's right. Bless the Lord, man. Continue to read. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Right. Where are they going to appear, man? Right? They're going to end up being destroyed because That's they want right. to follow our enemies in these last days, man, right? But we got to realize and wake up as Israelites, man, right, to understand that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man, right? right? And everything is set on the platter for the table for us, for those who want to sit there and receive this knowledge and wisdom, man. Read. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in doing well as unto a faithful creator so let those that don't want to come into the spiritual knowledge and wisdom and truth man right that want to buck up to the men of the lord all the time even want to buck up to you man if you may try to reach this to your own family members That's who right. buck up at you man That's right all you can do is just love them and you are loving them when you are teaching them the commandments man now if they don't want to listen to the commandments just like our people don't want to listen to the commandments just like in the time past, just like we're seeing now, man. Hey, man, it's of the most high God's will, right? But that blood is off of our hands, man, right? For those who are waking up to the spiritual knowledge and wisdom and truth. Those who realize, man, that we have to present our bodies as a living sacrifice in these last days, man, right? To wake up our people and bring them back to the fold. Thus said the Lord, man, right? Read. Uh, matter of fact, drop that. Give me um, Hosea chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4, start at verse 6, Father Bishop. Hosea chapter 4. Right? Let's deal with this thing, man. While our people are sitting there asleep on the couch, living in mirth, right? Right. Living in wickedness, man. Right. Us as men of the Lord, we're going to come out here week in, week out, day in, day out, three days, four days a week. Hey, it don't matter, man. That's right. right? To turn this world upside down. Hosea. That's right. Chapter 4. Hosea. Chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What did the Lord say? My, My people, people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You see, our 
people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they seek knowledge on the left-hand side. Right. Dealing with these wicked-ass churches, man. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Right. You reject the true knowledge, man. Right? We come out here to try to give you this true knowledge, so-called blacks, right. Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not based off our own understanding. Right. Based off thus said the Lord. But yet you reject it, man. Because it, cu it, cuts, sword. it cuts like a sword, man. Sharp like a knife, man. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also Wait. reject thee. What did the Lord say? I will also, also reject, reject thee. thee. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me, mm -hmm. seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. And we've forgotten the laws of our God in these last days, that's man. Right. Read. I will also forget thy children. And that's why a lot of our people are walking around blind, man. Right. Thinking that the so-called African Americans, man. Thinking that they're Native American, man. Thinking they're Puerto Rican, Colombian, things of that nature, man. Right? Not understanding that they are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Right? right? How you doing, brother? That said the Lord, man. My name is Brother Zamron. What's your name, King? My name is Calvin. Calvin, nice to meet you, man. What's your nationality, Calvin? You see yourself on the side? Come over here, King. Check this out right here. You see yourself on the side right here, right? So right here to the left, right, is what the Most High God called us. You got right. tribes like Judah, which will be the American blacks of today, right? What would you consider your nationality, American black? So brother, you will be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. right. That means you're God's chosen people. You're an Israelite. Because you're not going to find the term African American or American Black in the scriptures. I can't wait for you to take us home. And he's going to take us home. You, you want to learn how to get home? I can give you three scriptures to show you how to get home. Right? Let me show you, man. Right? Let me get Deuteronomy 28. Right? Uh, matter of fact, Deuteronomy chapter 10. Hey, sister. We out here for you. Two seconds, sister. You got two, two seconds in here. Two scriptures. Well, you're an Israelite, sister, so you got to repent, right. all right? And keep the commandments in these last days. That's Deuteronomy right. Deuteronomy chapter 10, starting verse 12. Deuteronomy right? chapter 10, verse 12. Wake them up. Bring it up. Verse 13. Lockia 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So you know you're an Israelite, right? The Most High God calls you a what, brother? It's not what I say, it's what the Most High God says, right? Amen. Right? So you're an Israelite. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, That's and right. to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, right. to keep the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord right. and his statutes, which I command and thee this day. day. For thy good. good. So the Most High God is telling you, Elder, that you have to keep the commandments because it's for your good. That's right? right. And, and, and I know these commandments are. All right. Let's show you, man. I right? know what the commandments are. Well, sure. I'm a religious man. I was so, brought up. Well, the I'm Most High God is not dealing with religion. This, he's dealing with this. Let me hey, bring, the, bring, bring this up. Right. Listen to this, Elder. One more, Elder. Oh, Elder, go. last Elder. scripture, Elder. Do you resonate with this? Thank you know oh. history, right? You asked how we know that we're Israelites, Elder. Right. This is how. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it no. up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. Bring. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Our people have been sold to what? Unto your enemies. Bring. For bond men and bond women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you. And that's why, man, we have to be redeemed by the Most High God's Son, Yahweh right. Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's man. right. Because our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's right. 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 Like they don't want to return. They don't want to listen. Right. Especially our elders. Right. Which right. is why we say all the time that our elders have failed us. Our foremothers and our forefathers that's have right. failed us. Look at the conditions that we are in as a people, man. Which is why we are out here to tell you, man, that salvation is at hand and that the kingdom is at uh, hand. But you have to want to grasp and, you know what I'm saying, and gravitate to that, man, right? Uh, in order to understand, right? And start to understand how the Most High God actually created you, right? How you doing, brother? What's your name, fam? With the headphones on, man. What's your name, fam? Chillin', man. My name is Amron. Nice to meet you, King. What's your nationality based on your father's side? Black sign is on. Crossing all the way. Black sign is on. Because right, right here to the left, right, is what the Most High God called his people, right? And the Most High God made 18 different nations, 
So a lot of the terms that everybody's walking around here calling themselves, you're not gonna find that in the scriptures. So what we teach it is just our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, based on your father's seed, are the biblical Israelites, man, right? What is that? The Holy Bible, is that just the New Testament? All right, let's get something out of the New Testament. Let me get Matthew 15, 24, right? Yeah, that's what we are here teaching, man. But we actually teach it from the entire... All right, can I give you one scripture, brother? Right? Because we love each other, man. Love is keeping the commandments in the, in the scriptures. Let me get 1 John. Chapter... Uh, Salak, y'all. 1 John. Yep. Chapter 5. We started... Uh, actually, chapter 3. We started verse 4. Let me bring this out. Matthew. This is Christ's word. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. Now, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house. Of Israel. So, brother, Christ said that he's only sent to his chosen people, the Israelites. That's which right. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which could be you, brother. Right? Yeah, let me show you what the gospel is. Luke yeah, chapter right. 1. No, no, no. I feel, I feel dumb because I, I was. I was. I got, I got this from some kid. And I asked him if we get on the mic. And he was like, oh, what are you going to say? Well, and no, what I said. Told him, and I was telling everyone, 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 when that sky cracks open, yep. when that sky cracks open, right? It's gonna be okay, so real quick, not, you said, so you said John three sixteen, right? Yeah. Right. So for God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Yeah. Right. Do you understand the understand the true understanding of that scripture according to the Most High God, not me? Because through thy precepts we get understanding. Let me show you. Let's find, let's show them what the world is in John 3, 16. Isaiah 45, verse 17. The book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So it didn't say these other nations. It only said Israel who will get the everlasting salvation. Read. Ye shall not be ashamed. So don't be ashamed if you're an Israelite, brother. Read. Nor confounded. Don't be confounded by what we've heard on the Christian church. Salvation is for all nations. That's Read. Right. It's for every world without end. World without what? World without end. World without end. So, brother. No, 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 I already know, man. What's I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm one well, brother, let me get Matthew chapter, uh, give me Matthew chapter uh, uh, 10, right? We're not saved. Let me show you this. We're not saved yet, right? I wish we were, but we're not saved yet. Matthew 10, 22. Last scripture. Brother, we went into slavery on ships, brother, right? It's all good. Our people are just lost in the sauce. You can drop that, man, right? Right, go back to Hosea chapter four. <laughs> yeah, he was drunk. It's all good, man, right? But we got to try to reach our people, That's man. Right. Any shape, way, or form, man. Go back to Hosea chapter four. And then jump, uh, start at verse seven, right? Baba Gasha. Thus said the Lord. See, our people, they just want to sit there and speak off their own understanding. But when we bring the scriptures out, right, they start to get scared, right? They don't want to listen, right? They start to get impatient, man, right? Because our people are stiff-necked, like the scriptures say, man, right? Read. Hosea chapter 4, verse 7. Bring it out. As they were increased, so, so they sinned against me. Therefore, will I change their glory into shame? See, we were made to be glorious as a people, sister, right? How you doing? My name is Brother Zamron. What's your name? Rena. We're out here teaching the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, based on your father's seed, that they are the chosen people of the Most High God, right? That they are the Israelites. What's your uh, father's nationality, if you don't mind me asking? Benjamin. Oh, praise the Most High. See, the sister knows who she is, man, right? And that's a wonderful thing, right? But it's one thing to know, sister, right? Once you know, right, you're usually required to do something. Like, if you know that you can sing, right, and you want to put that to use, you got to do something with it, right? So us knowing that we're Israelites, let's find out what we have to actually do, sister, okay? Let me get your name again. I'm going to make sure I remember. Rena. Rena, right? So ch listen to this verse, Rena. Let me get Deuteronomy, right? Chapter 10. Yeah, verse 12 again. Matter of fact, matter of fact Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It's like it. Get straight to the point. Old Testament. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Yep, there you go. 12 and 13. Check this out, sister. Ecclesiastes, please. 12. 
Verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the, the whole, whole matter. matter. So this is the conclusion, Rena, right, of the entire matter, of everything, right? Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Let me get 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. So, Rena, the Most High God says to his chosen people, the Israelites, that the whole purpose for us being here is to fear him. If we fear him, we fear the judgments that can come upon us, right? And we have to keep the commandments, right? Because if we keep the commandments, Rena, right, then those harsh judgments are not going to come upon us. And this place is getting ready to be destroyed. That's right. Right? So do you truly love the Most High God? Of course. Right. So read this. Let's check this out. First John, second chapter. Praise the end. Praises. All praises. Verse 4. Uh -huh. He that saith, I know him, yes. and keep it. First John, chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith, I know him, uh -huh. and keepeth not his commandments, right. is a liar. Right. And the truth is not in him. So, sister, we got to keep the commandments regardless. Because we'll be found a liar in the eyes of the Most High God, right? And we're trying to restore our people back as one nation. Because the Most High God right now is putting a spirit in our enemies, right? To prepare the Holy Land for us to get it back again. And he's going to have to destroy our enemies. Which means that this chief place, America, is known as Babylon the Great. It's going to be wiped out completely. So if you want to get up out of the affliction and the punishment that's going to come upon this land, we have to keep the commandments in order to be saved, right? So bring this up. Book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. I speak unto Rena. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. They're still generating as a people. So we still have to wear these fringes, read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, mm -hmm. that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. Right. So it's more than just a fashion sense. The Most High God says we have to wear fringes with that ribbon of blue so that we are reminded to keep the commandments. Because we're in corruptible bodies, right? And we're still made in flesh, right? right? But we have to tap into that spirit, That's right. right? And that spirit... Right, that spirit, which is going to give us that gift of life, was only given to us, sister. Right, so we got to we got to keep the commandments. Here's another one. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse five. Get out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man; neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what is a man? Uh, what is a woman's garment that a man can't wear? Right, right. Read. And what is a, and what is a woman's garment? I mean, what is a man's garment that a woman can't wear? hands exactly that's right neither shall a man put on a woman's garment mm -hmm. for all that do so are abomination unto the lord thy power right so you don't want to be an abomination sister you want to be a mighty princess of yashara right. right so we have to keep the commandments could you give me one more commandment uh baba Kishar? Yeah. could you give me leviticus right chapter 11 right and start at verse 7 bring this up deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 54 out. so that the man that is tender among you. Man, give me uh, 66, 56. Deuteronomy 28, 56. The tender and the delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the soul of her foot. So, Rena, our women used to be very tender amongst each other. That's right? right. Now we got a lot of our women that are jealous of each other, right? A lot of our women that are actually not operating in the ways of the Most High God. Read. To set the sole of her foot upon the ground mm -hmm. for delicateness mm -hmm. and tenderness. Right. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom mm -hmm. and toward her son mm -hmm. and toward her daughter. Right. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Right. So, sister, we got to understand that we have to operate. You being a mighty sister, right, of Yasharala, you have to show the example to other sisters. Do you got children? Yes. Right? You got any daughters? Yeah. All right. So you got to be that example to your daughter uh -huh. because she has the opportunity to get this knowledge and spiritual wisdom at an early age where we did. We're just now coming right. to the understanding that we're Israelites. Right? right? Uh -huh. So if we teach the children well, right, they're going to grow up to be mighty in the name of the Most High God, Yahweh. Right? So 
we got to love one another. We got to love our sisters, right? We can't be jealous as women, right? Because there's a certain order, right? And I'm going to show you that order. Bring this out, though. The book of Leviticus. Oh, slot here. Uh, uh, the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Yeah. And the swine, mm -hmm. though he divide the hoof, uh -huh. and he be cloven-footed, right. Salakia, and be cloven-footed, right. yet he cheweth not the cud, uh -huh. he is unclean to you. Right. Verse 8, right. of their flesh shall you not eat, mm -hmm. and their carcass shall you not touch. Right. They are unclean to you. So, Most High God strictly just says we can't mess with pork. Right, we got to put all that stuff away, all pork products. Right, every exactly because they're unclean to us. Check out what's unclean to us in the waters. Right, read verse 9 mm -hmm. These shall ye eat mm -hmm. of all that are in the waters, right. whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, mm -hmm. in the seas, and in the rivers. Right. Them shall ye eat. Mm -hmm. So we can only eat things that have fins and scales. I right. Have so, yes, not catfish, because they right. catfish only have fins, right? You can eat bass, tilapia, salmon, tuna fish, right? Yeah, that's true, that's true. But that, that is true. You got a point with that, sister. See, you got some knowledge that, that you could be giving down to our nation of people, right? All praise in the most high. So what do, now that we know all this, right, we have to actually repent, right? How you doing, sister? You, you got two word. seconds? Two seconds, see how oh, she's talking about? He wanted to hear the word, too. See, sister, you can, go, <laughs> you can be teaching this to, to our sister right now. Look, sister, look. Hey, tell the sister who she is. The young hey, bond. Sister, you want to hear the kid. word. All right, you're an Israelite. That's right. right. The most high God loves you and you only, sister, right? But we got to keep the commandments, sister. Love That's right. The commandments. What I got you over yeah, that's it. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. Have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Right. And the head of the woman is the, the man. Right. And the head of Christ is God. Right. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, right. dishonored his head. So, sister, when you pray, you have to keep your head covered. Right, because there is a uh, an order in things, right? And do you, you got a husband? You're a widow. Okay, it's on sorry to hear about that, right? And guess what? We've had some mighty widows that's been in the scriptures that were mighty women of Yahshua. That's right. right. And that's the hope that you can take, sister, right? Real talk. Okay, and I, and I don't know how, you know, when it happened, right? But hey, look. But, okay, so it's very recent. And I understand if you're going through certain pain, sister, Right, understand that we can do all things. We need to put our four thirteen out, right? Understand that we're gonna go through a push on the pain. That's right. right. And sometimes we don't understand why the most high God does certain things. Right? But when, right, but when he does do them, we have to understand that it is of the most high God's will. So your husband, sister, right, is in the third heaven, in the spirit world, right? And when the most high God establishes everything, right? If the brother was righteous, or if the most high God is dealing with them, or if he just so happens to be the chosen, right? We'll see the beginning of the kingdom, Lord willing, if we all make it, right? Let's we'll say the Lord, right? Now I'm going to have him bring this out, and real quick, so, uh, Salakia, so could you give me Job chapter 2? Uh, it started verse 7, right? I want to give her an example of affliction and how we came upon our people and what we got to do, right? As far as what our mighty forefather did, Job. Right, because he went through a lot of push. He went through the same thing that you that you gone through. Right? Read. Philippians yep. chapter four, verse thirteen. Get out, get out. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. Right. So we can do all things through Christ. And part of the thing that you can do, sister, right, is overcome the affliction and the pain that you're going through. And the only way you're gonna do that, sister, is if you call upon the name of the Lord. Keep the commandments. Right. Right. Because yeah. a lot of times things happen to us for reminders for us to keep the commandments. Right. I've had a lot of afflictions happen to me, right? But understand that we're chosen, right? And judgment starts at us first. That's what we have to teach, right? Let's say the Lord. What you got? Yes. Yes. The book of Job, chapter 2, verse 7. Yeah. So when Satan forth from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job mm -hmm. with sore boils mm -hmm. from the sole of his foot mm -hmm. unto his crown. Right, unto his crown. Now, could you jump to verse uh, chapter 1 where it talks about his children being? I think God, he should be up here somewhere. Where his children God. were killed. God. Now, 
Uh, Slothia. Uh, it's right here. It's, uh, Chapter 1, verse 13. Get out. There was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job right. and said the oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. Right. So the children of Job were children and eating, right? Right, 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 right. Exactly. Right. Now the children of Job, like they were children and eating, having a grand old time, right? And the most high God allowed Satan. Right, to come and afflict Job, right? And it started with his ox and his ass, right? And all his all his belongings, right? All the things that actually make him money, right? Because the most high God is allowing Job, knowing that Job is a righteous man. He's using Job as an example to show off, right? To say, like, look, there's nothing that you can do to him, right? It's gonna make him turn from me. Right? Yep, Job. Job chapter one, verse five. Yep. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about. That Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning. Right, because they're sitting there celebrating their own birthdays and things of that nature, right? So Job being that righteous father, right? You being that righteous mother, That's right. right? You got young children, right? You got to cover and protect them, right? Through prayer and supplication. Really. And sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed Yahweh in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Right. And that's why I probably want to go inside God. Actually, um, give me that. Uh, and, uh, we'll, uh, so, okay, so we'll get it out today. We'll get the, the exact definition. Give me uh, supplication that. Supplication is, is offering up to the most high Yahweh. Our prayers are supplications. Uh, all right. Uh, Nah, nah. Because you want to be humble when you're praying to the Most High God. You want to be mindful of the things that you're praying about. Because we are just flesh, right? We are nothing to the Most High God. He doesn't need us up here, right, to teach right. you. He doesn't no. need you, sister, right, to know what your are like. He can give that spiritual knowledge and wisdom to anybody, right. right? So that's part of being humble, that's right? Being right. thankful to know that who we are, right, that we are God's chosen people. So when right. you pray to the Most High God, we want to be mindful of what we pray about. We should pray about things like wisdom, right? We should pray for grace, right? We, the first thing we should do when we wake up, right, is thank the Most High God for waking us up to see another day. Right. See what I'm saying? The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 18. Bring it up! While he was yet speaking, there came also unto other. Salakia. There came also another and said thy son and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine right. in their eldest brother's house and behold there came a great wind there came a what there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house and it fell upon the young men and they are dead right so a tornado right and you see how our, our enemies are coming right? yeah, he does that but but what ended up happening, what ended up happening with Job's children, right? They ended up crying, right, in a whirlwind in a tornado, okay? And because of that, you know what I'm right. saying, like, that, that's grief and sorrow that, that Job's got to go through, right? Kind of the same type of sorrow that you want through. But you're standing here strong, sister, right? I wouldn't have known that, right? And that's a blessing for the most high God. Right? right. That was a, yeah. Let's just look at an example right there, right? This is the book of Psalm, chapter 41, verse 5. Right. My enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name perish? Read against what? The book of Psalm, chapter 41 and 5. My enemies speak evil of me. Right, our enemies speak evil of us, sister. Right? See that? They'll say, like the writer said, yeah. right? Read. When shall he die? Right. When shall he die? Right? We waiting on our enemies to die. Right? Because that's the only way that we're going to be restored back onto our land. Right? And his name perish. Uh -huh. And if he come to see me, mm -hmm. he speaketh vanity. Mm -hmm. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself. Mm -hmm. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. So we got to separate from our enemy system. 
because everything that they speak is vanity, right? So that's part of being separate, right? Because uh, we can do it on the seven and six with the other stuff, right? Now, bring this up. Proverbs chapter 30. 31. 31, sorry, verse 3. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 3. Give not thy spirit. I can find, I found it. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10. Yeah. Who can find a virtuous woman? See, a virtuous woman is hard to find. This is a question. Who right. can find a virtuous woman? That's right. Because a lot of our women, right, are following the ways of what they see on TV. That's right. right? In the music industry, right, in the entertainment industry, right. right, even in our own streets, right, which is why a lot of our women are not delicate towards each other no more. That's a curse. So who can find a virtuous woman? So you want to strive to be virtuous, right? Because men of the Lord, right, are looking for that, right? And with you being a widow, right, you can actually marry again, right? Thus said the Lord, right? Read. For her, for her price is yep. far above rubies. Right. For her price is above rubies. Like, this brother's in his 40s. I'm getting almost in my 40s, right? You know what I'm saying? This brother, right, see that? You know, we all are on the same Exodus 35 and 3. Slap. That wasn't the right chapter, wrong verse. 
35 and 3. Exodus 35. Verse 3. Check it out. He shall kindle no fire. What did the Lord say? He, he shall kindle, kindle no fire. So since the part of the Sabbath, like he can't be cracking that stove, right? The oven or the microwave, right? Ah, there you go. Throughout your habitation. All right, so we're still habitating right now, right? So you can drop that. So that's you gotta keep this up. Alright? So we can get you linked up with a congregation sister if you right? Like I said, you got the information. Okay? And deal with us, right? Subscribe to the YouTube channel when you search it, right? Ah, please, please, make sure when you go to the channel that you leave a comment with your information like your uh, your email, right? So that we can stay in contact, right? Let's take the Lord, right? Because you never know what the most I might do. Okay?
Because my brother, you call, he, he, every single day, he's on it when it comes to the scripture, right? We right? speak like uh, two, three times a week. Right. Uh, all praise on all side. Oh, let's get a sister of Kwame Asherala, man. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. That's right. You know, I speak myself. That's said the Lord, man. Right? Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. See, y'all teachers, see, we got to come out here and reach our people, man. Right? Whether we read, hey, as long as we wake up one, that's all that matters. Thus said the Lord, man. Right? Bring it up. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Bring it up. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. What did the Lord say? Think not that I am come uh -huh. to destroy the law. Read. Or the prophet. Right. I am not come to destroy, right. but to fulfill. And the Most High God sent His Son Christ to come and fulfill, man. The law is never done away with. So we're going to continue to keep the law. And what did He have to fulfill? He had to fulfill the suffering based on Acts chapter 3, verse 18, man. Right? Read. For verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. till heaven, the earth pass. And heaven and earth has not passed yet. Read. One jot uh -huh. or a little shall oh, it. Oh, one jot, one or, jot or one tittle. So not one period, not one comma. Everything that's written in these scriptures, read. Shall in no wise pass from the law. Shall in no wise pass from the law. So everything that you're reading, whether it's coming from Paul, does not pass the law, right? Everything that you read coming from whatever favorite apostle that you have, whatever favorite uh, men of God that you have that you're reading out these scriptures, Israelites, it does not surpass the law. Read. Till all be fulfilled. Because everything has not completely been fulfilled yet, man. The times of the Gentiles has not been fulfilled yet, man. Right? The times of the Israelites dwelling back in their chosen land has not been fulfilled yet, man. Thus said the Lord, man. Read. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. And the church is not going to teach you guys the true commandments, man. Which is why a lot of our people are breaking these least commandments. Read. And shall teach men so. Mm -hmm. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. And how are they teaching our people so, man, in these Christianity churches, man? By holding a service, bringing out three scriptures, not telling the people that they are the Israelites, man. Then having a gathering at the bottom of the church at the end of the service, and they serve you pork, man. Read. But whosoever shall do and teach them, mm -hmm. the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. What do we want to be called? Great in the kingdom of heaven. And we want to be called great in the kingdom of heaven in these last days. Jump right. to Matthew chapter 4, Bible Shah. Start at verse 1, man. We want to be great in the kingdom of heaven, man. Right? We don't want to strive for being the least in the kingdom, man. Right? Because being the least in the kingdom, I mean, you might have to go through some fire and brimstone in this That's right. Man, right? Or might have to go through some major afflictions dealing with Jacob's trouble on the way, man. Read. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. Get out. Then was Yahweh shot. Mm -hmm. Let up of the spirit into the wilderness right. to be tempted of the devil. To be tempted by who? To be tempted of the devil. Read. And when he had fasted 40 days mm -hmm. and 40 nights, mm -hmm. he was afterward and hungry. See, sometimes we gotta fast, man, in order to get over these afflictions, man. And yeah, how was I fasting, man, when he was being tempted by the devil, man? Read. And when the temper came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, uh -huh. Command that these stones be made bread. Wow, really? But he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, uh -huh. but by every word that proceeded. But by what? But by every word that proceeded Read. out of the mouth of God. You can drop that, man. Right? So we can't just live by the things that are vanity here on Babylon the Great, man. We are supposed to live by the things that proceed out of the mouth of Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach from Allah Yahweh Shai. That's right. right! In order to receive salvation, man. Right? Thus said the Lord. These are things we got to realize, man. But our people don't want to sit there and understand that, man. Right? Our people want to sit there and follow false ways and follow the ways of Babylon the Great. Exodus chapter, uh, give me Exodus chapter 26. Sorry, verse 33. Uh, 32. You read the 33. Exodus chapter 26. Sorry. Yep, chapter 26. 26, 30, Exodus chapter 26, verse 32. Bring it up. And thou shalt hang it up upon four pillars of Shittim. Uh, uh, Exodus, uh, um, Matter of fact, give me Jeremiah chapter 23. Sorry, verse 1. That's what I want. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Jeremiah 
Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. No. Won't be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Three. Therefore, thus saith Wait. the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. So, this is the message to all Wait. you pastors, man, that are so called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man, that think that you're feeding our people. Read. Ye have scattered my flock. What did the Lord say these pastors have done? Ye have scattered my flock. Read. And driven them away. Mm -hmm. And have not visited them. Right. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings. Say it the Lord. So every time you want to sit there and teach our people lies, man, yeah. right? You wicked pastors, man. You wicked so-called leaders, man, who proclaim yourself to be leaders of the people, of the Lord's people, man. When you're not teaching, thus said the Lord, when you're not teaching one jot, one tittle, man, hey, woe unto you, thus said the Lord, man. Right? These are things we gotta realize, man, in these last days. Exodus chapter 23. That's what I want. Exodus chapter 23. Sorry, verse 30, 32. Thus said the Lord, man. Right? And it's a beautiful thing, man. Right? Got the building, you know what I'm saying? Building foundation right now. Got the brother you call and the sister building together, man. This is beautiful, man. This is what we want to see. Because the Bible says, gather together, you know what I'm saying? Gather yourselves together, O nation, not desire. Zephaniah 2 and 1. These are things we have to realize, man. So it's important, man, right, to get the precepts, man, if you don't understand. Because somebody else may have that knowledge, man, that you're needing. Right? To get the support and encouragement that you need when you're going through affliction, man. Right? But our pastors, they don't give us this stuff, man. So we're going to be the true pastors, man. That's right? right. What the Lord has set us out to be, man. The and Lord. give you nothing but the spiritual knowledge and wisdom and truth. Read. Exodus chapter 23, verse 32. Yeah. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, mm -hmm. nor with their God. Because that's what these wicked pastors have done when they're teaching this false doctrine just to get a free tax free church, man, and a building. They made a covenant. With these gods, man. The gods on the left hand side, they're with wickedness. Read. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. See, they weren't even set up to even dwell in our land, the rest of our enemies, man. But the Most High God says that they're only going to dwell in our land if we continue to sin against the Most High God, which is why they walk around here on stolen ground, man. Right on the bones of our ancestors, man. Proudly. Read. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee. And it has definitely been a snare unto us because we started serving these false gods, man. Christianity, man, dealing with so-called white Jesus, man. Right? Catholicism, dealing with that wicked statue Mary, man. Right? Dealing with Islam, man. Right? And that wicked cobblestone, man, that they worship over there in the Middle East, man. These are things that we got to separate from in these last days when destruction is getting ready to come upon the land, man. Right? Drop that. You get Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. We almost done, huh? Ecclesiastes 7, verse 7. Chapter 3, verse 7. Yeah, chapter 7, verse 7. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 7, man. Our people want to sit there and follow false gods, man. Right? We can't make covenants with them when the covenant has already been established with us Israelites. Read. Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Uh -huh. Surely oppression, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, mm -hmm. and a gift destroys the heart. See? If you are wise, which you can only become wise by getting into these scriptures, you will realize once you get into these scriptures how much oppression that we have gone through as a people as Israel, man. Right? For not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments generation after generation to the point that it makes you mad. Right? But see, this gift that our enemies have given us have destroyed our hearts, man. Right? Gifts of EBT. Right? Gifts of uh, all these uh, state benefits, man. Right? Gifts of Section 8, gifts of low income, right? These are certain gifts that destroys our heart because it makes our women proud because our people are not used to having anything. So when they get a taste of a little something, man, they get prideful. They think that they don't need the man in the household, right? Or vice versa, man, right? These are things we got to realize, man, right? The Most High God wants us to be a mighty nation, right? And in order to put forth a mighty nation, it starts in the household, man. But our wicked pastors have led us astray, right? Because they're sitting there envying our oppressor. Let me get Proverbs 3 and 31. They envy our oppressor, man, right? Not realizing that the Most High God has given this earth into the hands of the wicked, which is why he has covered the faces of the judges thereof. And because the earth has been given to the wicked, man, the with Esau, the so-called white man, and the rest of these wicked nations that are not so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, 
There is nothing that we can do about it, man. When it comes to the dominion, the power, the rulership that they have here, generation after generation. Right? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Bring it out. Envy thou not the oppressor, uh -huh. and choose none of his way. So we're not supposed to envy our oppressor. Because when we envy our oppressor, it is a, we end up choosing to his way. We end up doing the same things that our enemies done, right, in order to be just like him, to inherit his riches, man, right, to inherit his lifestyle and way of living, man. When we already have the code, when we already have the guidelines and how we're supposed to live, we're supposed to live of Yahweh Shalom Hashem Kamalash Yahweh Shai, man. Thus said the Lord. And you can't envy your oppressor. Shalom says it, all praise the most high. Thus said the Lord, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. Right? So don't envy our oppressor, man. Don't choose none of his ways, man. Because it's right. going to lead you to nothing but death and destruction. That's the right. Lord, man. And these are things that we got to realize, man, these last days, man. Right? Otherwise, we're going to end up missing the ship. We're going to end up missing the ride. How you doing, brother? You're an Israelite the Bible speaks of. I got That's two right. scriptures for you before you head That's out. That's right, brother. Right? We getting ready to wrap it up anyway. I got two scriptures. I'm good. Well, so nobody's good. good. Nobody's That's good. Right. Nobody's right. good, brother. But the most high God. That's what Christ said, man. That's Even right. Christ said, don't call me good. But right. my father. So how are we good, brother, when we at the bottom of this earth, I'm man? Good. Thank you. Alright, well, good is keeping the commandments, elder. Right? Good is keeping the commandments. Thus said the Lord. That's not right, thus said me. Right? You believe in God, right? You see how you keep stopping to hear what I gotta say? Can I bring out a scripture? While you're stopping, do it around me seven and six, man. Matter of fact, drop that, man. Drop that. Luke 13 and 3, man. That's what I want, man. Luke 13 and 3, right? Because our forefathers have failed us, man. Our foremothers have failed us, right? And, you know, I try to have to, you know, I'm going to have compassion for our people, man. That's right. Like, especially our elders, man. Because they look at us and they see, you know, they don't see no white, no gray on our beards. They understand that we're young, right? right. So they don't want to listen to us. They think that we have nothing good to tell them because they've lived here on this earth long enough, man. Right? Longer than us. Right? But we can't have that type of mindset in these last days because the scripture says that a child shall lead the way, man. Right? You can learn from a child, man. Wasn't Yahweh teaching in the synagogues at age 12, man? Right? And then what did those elders do, man? Shun him away, man. Right? You hate it in your home, own hometown, right? Bring it up. Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 7. Our fathers have sinned. Our, our fathers have what? Our fathers have sinned. Y'all forefathers have sinned, and that's what we're trying to warn y'all, right? That we can actually turn the tables around, right? For the next generation to come after us. Not generation, but the next, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, our next seed to come after us, man, to keep the commandments. Read. And are not. And are what? And are not. So y'all forefathers sin, and they are not, man. They are not of the Most High God, right? They do not keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. And we uh -huh. have borne their iniquities. And that's why we are at the bottom of this earth, man, right? The bottom of this world, man, because we borne the iniquities of our forefathers. Read. Servants uh -huh. have ruled over us. We got servants ruling over us, man. That's the so-called right. white man, right? The so-called Arab man, right. the so-called African man, the Asian right. man, right? All these servants ruling over us, read. There is none uh -huh. that doth deliver us out of their hands. Right, and we keep looking to false ways, to vanity ways. Look at the mock comments. Martin Luther King, right? Marcus Garvey, man, right? Look at the Creflo Dollar. Look at the TD Snakes, man, right? These are the things we got to realize, man. We got to look to Yahweh, Boston, and Masiak, from the other side, man, right? Read. Cherim, uh, Lamentations chapter 5, uh -huh. verse 14. Bring it out. Oh, the elders uh -huh. have ceased from the gates. The elders have what? The elders have ceased from the yeah. gates. Read. The young men from their music. Mm. The joy of our hearts ceased. Our dance is turned into mourning. Right. The crown is fallen from our head. Right. Our day has turned into mourning, man. Right. Everything has ceased, man. These are things we got to realize, man. Come over here. Come over here. What's your, what's your, what's, what's your deal, man? Right. Read. Woe unto us. Right. That we have sinned, 
So woe unto us as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans That's right. that we have sin. That's, That's right. why we got to get out of sin because right. sin is going to lead us to nothing but destruction, which is lined up for our enemies. Right. What's your nationality based on your father's side? What's your nationality based on your father's side? You know how to answer a question? So what's your father? What's your father's nationality? Well, we're actually up here teaching our people. We're not here for you. You can push it up the block. That's it, the Lord, man. If you can't have the reverence to answer a question, interrupt the dialogue, interrupt us teaching our people, but right. you can't answer a simple That's question, right. then right. you're not running nothing up here, man, right? You're not going to walk up to a so-called white man's church, walk right. on the main stage, all. right, while the pastor's preaching, talk about, I got something to say. Right. right. Exactly. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 13. No. Therefore, my people uh -huh. are gone into captivity. See, our people have gone into captivity. And it's been done by the hands of that bald Caillou looking dude. Read. Right. Because they have no knowledge. Uh, they have no what? They, they have, have no knowledge. And how long are we going to reject knowledge, man? This is why we're still in captivity to this day. Like Deontay Wilder said. Read. And if their honorable men are finished. And you. their multitude. <laughs> Matthew? Yeah, but yeah, Matthew, Matthew. Matthew, Matthew, I got uh, Matthew. I got 15, Matthew. Matthew 15, 24. Let's teach Matthew. 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 I am not sent, right? but unto the lost sheep right? of the house of Israel. Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself? I'm asking a question. Why are you so, why are you so emotional and hostile? Do you see yourself on the side here? Right? All right, get up the block with your uh, groundhog, man. Whatever it is, man. We're not dealing with you, man. Yeah, we're not dealing with you. Right. Right, you're coming up aggressive, man. Interrupting the right. word, screaming over the scriptures. Right. You got before you, you still talking. You right. Have respect for the scriptures, right. man. That's right. And, all right. And he's only sent to the lost sheep at the house of Israel. The wicked right. shall flee Which with you. no right. one pursuing. Right. Right. The wicked shall flee with no one pursuing. Just like that, man. Proverbs 28 and 1. Just like that, 58. man. 58. Right? Isaiah 28. Isaiah 58. Uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Come. Come. See that? Are you sure? Let's fact check that. Uh, what? The book of Isaiah. <laughs> I said Isaiah. What I said? I said, said Proverbs. 28? I said Proverbs 28 and 1. Oh. You said Isaiah. Double oh, check. Oh, you're right. No. You're right. 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 Proverbs, Con. the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Get out. The wicked flee. The wicked what? The, the wicked flee. flee. When no man pursue it. But what are we going to do? But the righteous are bold as a lion. So we going to stand bold as a lion. Come on. We're not out here That's to right. pursue our enemies, man. Right. We are here to fish That's and bid right. our people, the so-called right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, That's to the right. marriage. But if our enemies come up, Start screaming over the scriptures, man. Right. right? Trying to interrupt and ruin the whole flow like the scriptures say they do right. when the word comes out, right? We right. can't allow them to control the narrative, man. That's right? right? So sometimes, man, we got to turn it up a notch, right? right? And let them know, man, that we're out here to defend the gospel, thus said the Lord. God. Let me get Revelation chapter 18, verse 21. Let me get Genesis chapter 49, verse 1, man. We're getting ready to wrap this up, man. Right? Revelation chapter 18, verse 21. Bring it out. And a mighty angel took up a stone uh -huh. like a great millstone right? and, and cast, cast it into the sea, right? saying, what do you say? Thus with violence. No, thus with hugs. Thus with violence. No, thus with trusting in our enemies. Thus with violence. Shall, shall that, that great city, Babylon, Babylon. Shall that great city, America, what? So that great city, Babylon, uh -huh. be thrown down. And this place is going to be thrown down Come. for the rape, robbery, bloodshed, murder. and murder. That's right. That the so-called white, Hispa uh, I almost said Hispanic, so-called white, uh, Chinese, right. Japanese, Keep man. Going. So many wicked nationalities, Come. man, right? This is just calling the wicked, man. Because they all summed up into one bunch. Psalm and it's 83. called the wicked, man. Come. Psalms 83. Let's and bring it up, man. And shall be found no more. 
more at all. And the wicked is going to be found no more at all. America is going to be found no more at all. It's going to be a distinct race. That's Caution right. tape surrounded by entire America where right. nobody can come in. All it's going to be is nothing but vultures, man. Pecking down, man, at all the right. dead bodies, man. Because Christ coming through. Wake them up! All these heathens, man, right? It's going to have nothing but wine. Drip, looking like wine dripped on his garment because it's full of blood. Because he's coming to defend his people. Thus said the Lord, man. That's right. Got that precept? Bring it out. The book of uh, Psalms. Yes, 49. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 2. Bring it out. For lo, uh -huh. thine enemies. Thine what? Thine enemies. So this is talking about the enemies of the Most High God. Read. Right. Make a tumult. They make a what? Make a tumult. Read. And they that hate thee uh -huh. have lifted up the head. And we know these other wicked nations hate the Most High God, which is why they come up and scoff at the man of the Lord. Right. When they see that we're returning to our true heritage and nationality. That's right. right. They have taken crafty counsel. And that's all why they do that, because they know deep down inside that their nation of people took crafty counsel, Reed. Against thy people. Uh -huh. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Right. What else they do? They have said, come uh -huh. and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right, and how do they do that? By calling us African American, by calling us Cuban, man, right. by calling us Mexican, man, by repainting the true image of Christ and turning them into Caesar Borgia, son right. of six Alexander the Pope. Nothing but wickedness, man, read. Right. That the name of Israel. That the name of what? That the name of Israel Read. may be no more in remembrance. Right, and our name is no more in remembrance. That's why us messengers got to come out here and remind our people who you truly are, man. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. And what are they? They are confederates. Mm, they are what? They, they are, are confederates. Confederate. Right, that confederate flag. Read. Against thee. Uh-huh. The Tabernacles of Edom. That's the first nation mentioned. The right. Tabernacles of Edom. Right. The Most High God's Most Wanted list. Right. Who's number two on that list? And the Ishmaelites. And these Arabs, the so-called Caucasian number one. Ishmaelites number two. Which are the Arabs? Read. Of Moab. And you Chinese. Yay. Right. Hey, y'all can't run either, man. Right. right. Read. And the Hagarines. Right. Gabal. Uh-huh. And Amos. Even you Japanese. Right. right? Konnichiwa. Y'all about to get it too. Read. Right. Okay, get that Scott. Right. See? See? Right. See your call knows, man. <laughs> right? Read. And Amalek. And what? And Amalek. You fake Jews. Right. Read. Jews. The Philistines. Right. Even dealing with a lot, which leads back to the Ethiopians, man. And right? In Palestine, man. Right? Palestine. These are things we got to understand, man. Right. What nation has not had their hand in the rape, robbery, and murder of God's chosen people, right. man? Read. <laughs> And the inhabitants of Tyre. Right, because even the first established Edomite nation, man, had us in captivity and slavery, man. Thus said the Lord. This is why we're warning you guys right. that in these last days, when stuff is going to turn up with Jacob's trouble, Come that on. we have to gather our, amongst Come ourselves, on. man, to keep the commandments, man. Thus, thus said the Lord. He got that for me, I'm all praising the most high, man. Right? Bring it up. Genesis 49, verse 1. Bring it out. Out. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, What did he say? Gather yourselves together. No, stay at home. Gather yourselves together. What did this lady do? Gather yourselves together. Read that I may tell you what shall befall you. Befall you. In the last days. That's what we are here to do. Right. Tell our people what's going to happen in these last days. And what's going to happen in these last days is that the time of Esau is going to be no more. And Jacob's going to be the beginning of it that follow it. Thus said the Lord, man. So I'm going to end this by saying, call hello. Yahweh. But still, I'm going to come out like Yahweh shot. And I'm going to say, call me Yashuala. 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 Call me Yashuala.